believe it? Sparrow wants to go shopping? <laughs> I must be dreaming. You know what I think? I think there's a guy. No way, you think? She's so shy, I just can't imagine her going after a non-spell. Yeah, well, good luck finding out who it is. You know how the shy ones like Sparrow don't like to talk about personal stuff. That's right, I almost forgot. You're the girl expert. Too true. <laughs> Wait, you were being sarcastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I'm not gonna let it bother me. It's too nice a day. I mean, look at that blue sky. Kitty, 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 kitty. Huh? Hey, watch it, furball. Terrific. I'm glad I'm leaving my shop in the hands of a professional. No biggie. We were just playing. Don't worry. Everything will be just fine. Now get going. Go on your little shopping spree. I can't believe I'm leaving you here alone. This is a bad idea. You'll be all right. Let's go. Don't worry, it's just a few hours. <laughs> what could go wrong? Nothing, I guess. It's cool that you want to go shopping for once, but why all the urgency about a new outfit? I'll tell you later. Later? Come on, how am I supposed to help you pick something out if you don't tell me what it's for? Is it a business meeting? Oh, a hot date. Stop bugging me. You don't want me to get mad and turn into the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> Retro chic tunic top. Hmm. Try this one. Listen, Sparrow, we've been doing this for an hour now and I'm wiped out. If you don't tell me what the dress is for, there's no way I can help you. Okay. Look, just bring me one more dress, the little red one, and I'll tell you. Okay, but this is the last one. Promise? <laughs> Great. She hates another dress. The Semshina? Here? Uh-oh. Can't have her just running around wild. Sparrow will be in there forever. Kitty litter, cat food, sequin collar, catnip, flea bath, and how about we get together, you and I, for a coffee at the Silver Witch tonight? You can tell me how your new kitty cat is doing. I'd love to. Give me your address. I'll pick you up. <laughs> what is she doing here? Who cares, Tara? Remember what Master Chem always says. When it comes to Semshinox, the question isn't why they're here, it's how to catch them. Fiaparalysis! Oops, targeting error. <sighs> Gallant, I need you. Come on, Gallant, get ya! What are you doing here? This season's Earth fashions catch your eye? Yes, indeed. I found exactly what I wanted. The Alpicas! Let's go back. We'll take care of that old bat some other time. I hope Sparrow found a dress. Hmm. Uh, over there! Uh, uh. A pretty brunette trying on ugly dresses? Oh, oh no. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I was just trying this on when I was transformed. You're just a little wound up is all. Take a few deep breaths, it'll pass. <laughs> no, Tara, it won't. I can't transform back. What am I going to do? It's a nightmare. Don't worry. We just need to find a way to get you back to the manor. <laughs> that Semshinacht I was chasing must have cast a Transformus Blockus on you. I don't care. This is awful. <laughs> Come one, come all, to the Zinder Circus! <sighs> Behold creatures unlike anything you've ever seen before! <gasps> How's it going, Tara? Since when are you working for the circus? <laughs> hey, is that Sparrow inside that hairy costume? Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Sparrow's working at the pet shop. 
Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Whoa, gotta go, Edward. Hey, will you just chill? What is wrong with you? Tara, listen. We have to do something quick because it's him. He's the one I'm going out with tonight. That's why I need the new dress. What? Well, you mean you have a date with a non-spell? Well, yeah, with Edward. That's great. I'm really glad you're putting yourself out there. Edward is perfect for you. Oh, uh, yeah, unless I still look like this tonight. He'll run away screaming. Tara, help me! Relax. There's got to be a way to reverse a Transformus blockage. <clears throat> yeah! Whoa. I guess you didn't like any of the dresses. No, it's not that. For some reason, a Semshina has it in for me. She cast a Transformers Blockus on her. What's the big deal? It'll wear off. That's just the problem. It won't. And she has a date tonight with a non-spell. Can you believe it? I knew it. OK, OK, fine. Could we just? Look, you're, you're still cute. It's just a different kind of cute. Well, maybe you could go to a costume party. Thanks, Cal. That's the best you can do? Make stupid jokes? Uh, uh, wait, you know what non-spells always say? Beauty's only skin deep. All right, Cal. You didn't butcher an expression for once. Well, it doesn't matter because I look like a monster and I've got a date with Prince Charming. That is not going to happen. <laughs> the move is spell doesn't work. Neither does yoga breathing, or enchanted oils. Nothing works. I don't understand. Normally any of these would do the trick. Maybe it has something to do with dual nature of girl and beast. Don't ask me. I've always been like this. What about Isabella? Maybe she can help. She was summoned to Otherworld, and won't be back until late tonight. <laughs> oh, I give up. Oh, <laughs> come on. Don't cry. <laughs> hmm? <sighs> She's the harpy I was chasing. Gloria Deville, listen to me. This is the harpy Nelos. Hidden in the manor is a golden scepter. Mm. You must give it to me. In return, I will give you the potion to reverse the Transformers Blockus and return you to normal. Let me at her! Oh. Easy! Uh. Just let the old hag finish. Barrow. I am the only one who can help you. I know your father, and I have learned many things about you. Meet me in the Rosemont Gardens by the Lover's Bench. There, we will make the exchange. What scepter is she talking about? And why does that harpy want it? Somebody tell me! Isabella mentioned something to me about a scepter. It's somewhere here in the manor. Well, let's find it and make the trade! I'm afraid we can't do that, guys. Mm -hmm. ah, give me that scepter! I have a day tonight! Uh, follow me. <sighs> Ever hear about solidarity between spellbinders? Doesn't that mean anything to you, Caliban Dal Salan? Hey, back off! I have a date too, and I kinda need to get ready. A date? With who? This cute brunette I met at the shop. Why? You jealous? Uh, yeah, right. Fine. I'm coming. I have plenty of time. That's the one, Terra. The Unlimited! This scepter was with your belongings when you arrived here on Earth, Sparrow. It was your father's. He found it in Himlia, land of the Harpies. That explains how Nellos knows your father. He must have told her about your family curse. And she's using it to get what she wants. I appreciate your giving Sparrow a history lesson, but you should not have shown them the scepter. Why not? You will know <laughs> when you become full-fledged spellbinders. Suffice to say that for the sake of Otherworld, it was decreed that the scepter was to be hidden on Earth, period. The Levitus. We are running out of time. You must catch that harpy at once. What about Sparrow? The safety of Otherworld is far more important than Sparrow's appearance. And as the Dragon Masters say, beauty's only skin deep. Huh. Master Chen may know a lot about philosophy, but he doesn't know a thing about 17-year-old girls. I'd like to see what he'd do if he was transformed into a chicken right before a date with a hot lady dragon. Tara, we have to do what Master Chen says. You catch that harpy. I'll keep trying to find an antidote. Oh, I've got an 
idea. We'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll trade the scepter for the antidote and catch Nellos. Think we could? Uh, sorry, Tara, but no can do. Master Chen would have our hides, and I have to get ready for my date. You're not gonna help us? Ah! <coughs> okay, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> if it means that much to you, I'll help. I'm glad to see you, Sparrow. I always like to settle my affairs in person. You can tell your little blonde friend who tried to catch me that she flies like a witch who forgot her broomstick. <laughs> Did you hear that? She insulted me! Oh, quiet! She's just jealous of how good looking you are, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> you think? That's a weird way of expressing it. Shh, she'll hear you. Well, I'll deal with her later. They say this scepter should never leave Earth. It should never have come to Earth. It comes from the land of the Harpies, and now it'll be returned to us. Your father refused to give it back, so I was forced to come get it myself. I'm not proud of what I've done to you, but hmm. I didn't have any choice. And what do you want the scepter for? I have my reasons, Sparrow. Now give it to me and this'll all be over. One drop with water should be enough to turn you back into a pretty young girl. <sighs> okay, it's you and me, bird brain! Ow! Yeah! Now that's what I call teamwork! Ha. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, back to the manor. I'll put away that scepter. Sparrow will take her potion, and then we'll take care of that harpy. Thanks, Tara. Great work. So, uh, girls, uh, looks like you got things under control. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go grab a quick shower. <laughs> Again, okay? Maybe we use too much water. Uh, 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 Tara, you better do something. She's gonna trash the place. Be a common. I got suckered. That potion doesn't reverse a transformers blockus. Hey, I didn't want to go in the first place, but I'd say you and Nellos are even. Find something to calm Sparrow uh, down. Feed her. Hmm. Me, uh, uh, maybe some chickens. Hmm. I'll go uh, find Manitou. Hmm. Those dirty double crossers. I have to find my way into that manor. I haven't found much to go on, except maybe this 400-year-old formula. It's worth a try, right? Yes. We'll combine this with what we know about spellbinders who have a dual nature. A what nature? You know, a spellbinder who's half animal and half human. Mermaids, harpies, tritons, centaurs, and sparrow, too. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. I'm looking for a young man named Caliban Dal Salam. He sold me this kitten. I'm afraid she's very sick. I really need to see him. <laughs> the coast is clear. Spellbinders with dual natures like you. Well, give it to me. My date's in an hour. <gasps> uh, hey, 
Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Huh? Huh? Oh, Cal, I was knocked out by a lady with really weird eyes. She mm -hmm. made me tell her all about why I was here at the manor. A lady with weird eyes? Were they like cat's eyes? Uh-huh. That's the harpy. Uh, look, I gotta go. I'll meet you at the Silver Witch soon, I promise. Viamentus. Sorry, darling, but I have to wipe all this from your memory. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Too bad I can't cast a love spell. <laughs> Manitou! Forget about the cat. We have other birds to throw stones at. It's got to be here somewhere. Not exactly a new addition. Aha! Here it is. A formula. To treat these creatures, the antidote must contain an element from the spellbinder who originally cast the spell. Like they use snake venom to treat snake bites. I guess I could use one of the harpy's feathers. <laughs> and you believe that nonsense? Clearly, you know nothing. And you're not touching my feathers. Be a torturous! <laughs> now, stupid blondie. Tell me where the scepter is. Third shelf on the left behind the books about the Pegasus Galaxy. <laughs> the torturous young spellbinder! Where is the scepter? Under the stone in the middle of the star. <gasps> the Levitas! <laughs> Just what I need to turn myself into a woman. Uh, if only I'd had it before, then Sparrow's father would have loved me. Sparrow's father? What about Sparrow? The potion you gave her didn't work. But it should have, I swear. <laughs> Why would you want to become a woman? I was in love with Sparrow's father. But he didn't feel the same way about me because of my claws and my talons. I, I know what you mean. Love hurts sometimes. Ah, enough. I know the powers the scepter has, and it'll give me a new life. The life of a real woman. Or a one-way <gasps> ticket back to Otherworld. The uh, paralysis! Ah! <gasps> oh, man. Sometimes I hate magic. Um, do you mind? I just need a feather to take care of my friend. Ah! Do you really think this is gonna work? <laughs> Excuse me. I go away for one day, and when I come back, the whole place has been turned upside down. Sorry, Grandma, but Sparrow has a very important meeting. Uh-huh. And why is she in beast form if she has a meeting? Well, it's just that we can't undo the Transformus blockus that this harpy cast on her. Nellos, to what do we owe the honor? Is this a social call? Or did you try to steal the Golden Scepter? Sparrow, come with me. This scepter gives any half-human, half-animal creature the ability to become entirely human or animal for a period of time. Oh? The Master Spellbinders decided to hide it away on Earth to avoid upsetting the balance between the creatures of Otherworld. You had no right to take it out of its hiding place. Now take it and think very hard about the pretty young woman that you are. Have no doubt about who and what you truly are. This is very important. <gasps> oh. Now I'd better find a new hiding place for this thing. Woohoo, you're a hottie. Sparrow, how did you do it? It's a secret. I am most displeased with what you've done, young spellbinders. This had better be the last time you disobey my orders. <sighs> but I am quite pleased that you managed to capture Nellos. Transfer portal, take us back to Otherworld. <laughs> 
Uh-oh. I've got to run. Dress like that? He's just gonna have to take me as I am. After all, beauty's only skin deep. Wow, you've learned to think like a non-spell. I just know you and Edward are gonna hit it off. Sparrow, I gotta tell you, the baseball cap, the way your socks stick out of your boots, it's totally cool. Hey, guess what? Huh? I saw Tara on the street today with this big, hairy beast. Uh, yeah, I guess she's got a part-time job advertising a circus to earn a little money. If you'd seen the beast costume, you would have thought it was real. Speaking of beasts, I'm thinking of going to see the remake of Beauty and the Beast. What do you say? Uh, no thanks. I know that story by heart. How about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? The sparrow look is a hit. Love is in the air. Yeah, good thing he doesn't know the little cutie he's chatting with has teeth like butcher's knives. Hey! Your hot date? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> She didn't even recognize me. Guess you went a little too hard with that Minta spell. Oh well, you might as well hang out with me. 